both be Diana. I don't think it makes a difference. It's so ridiculous. It defeats the whole point. Please, Miss Lord. I talk to you like I'm Diana. You respond like you're Charles. Does that make sense? Oh, sense. You start. Uh, okay. Um, I was thinking, Charles. Do we still love one another? Sure. Whatever. Oh, voice. <clears throat> sure. Whatever love means. This is a minefield. Oh, right, that's fitting because I'm Diana and I did charity work in that field. Anyway, um, uh, certain things, certain things are not going as well as they should be, Charles. What things, Diana? What do you mean by that? Well, there's the rub. Mm. In a relationship, a yes. marriage, it's meant to grow on you. You're meant See? to learn to love it. Only I learnt to hate it. Oh. And, and there's been all these things getting between us and I've been trying <laughs> trying trying and I I just can't just keep trying this anymore much for the sake of my mental health Georgie is this real it's not an insult no 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 it's just no it's is this real I because if it is I would have appreciated you saying it outright None of this commemorative roleplay thing. Okay, let's view our relationship as an experiment. A, a lovely experiment that's now reached its end. An experiment? Where would we be without experiments? We wouldn't have uh, antibiotics or the harbour process without experiments. Well, thank you for doing it in person, I guess. Oh, I wasn't expecting a thank you. It must mean I'm doing something right. You're not! When you do it in person, you can't wiggle out of it. That's all I mean. And where are you going? You've got a really good point. Georgie! Oh, <laughs> scary. Uh, light flash between my eyes there. Come back here. We're not done talking. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm awfully sorry. I... What's wrong with it? It's stuck. It won't turn. It's stiff. Stiff, it wasn't stiff when I didn't need to get somewhere. Somewhere important. Get somewhere important. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, staying would have been just the ticket. But I, at the centre's half an hour, I've really got to get going. Then go. What's stopping you? The door, the door's stopping me. That's the whole bloody point. Oh, the stupid block of flats. It's dead, Georgie. Probably broke when you slammed it. Do you it. see a solution to this problem? I don't. You don't see a solution? I don't see a problem. It's my flat. I would be here anyway. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm penitent, but I, if you don't let me out, I'm breaking down this door. Let you out? I can't let you out. It's jammed. You leave me no recourse. I've, I've got an appointment! You break that door and it's coming out of your pocket. Yeah, well, I can afford it, as you know. You think I was sitting up there in Bunce Manor laughing my head? Uh, this is the thing with you, Miss. You're not better than me, okay? Everyone... You either hurt yourself or you hurt other people. It's often both, but it's never neither. Go on. What? Break down the door. Use excessive force. Ow! I saw movement. Ow! Okay, you go. I'm done. See, Georgie, you either hurt yourself or you hurt other people. I'm fine letting you hurt yourself. Hello? Anyone? We're stuck up here. Could you join in, please? Oh. Help! Please, someone! In a hurry? You know I'm in a hurry. Look, Mish, I'm sure it's a perfect accident, but you're being a tad cruel right now. An accident? Yeah, an accident. Not an accident. Look at you. Break up and run. You bought a pencil sharpener. A, a pencil sharpener? Yeah, a pencil sharpener to a full-scale gunfight. <sighs> oh, this is exactly what I'm saying. I'm sorry, but right now you've got a real sense of superiority. I'm fine. You just have a real sense sorry. of inferiority. You say sorry a lot, but you never apologise. Um, what should I be apologising for? For saying I'm a drain on your mental okay, health. Okay, I'm sorry. I, that was rude. I see that now. Yeah, it was rude. Well, it's not my fault that I'm rude. Oh, it's not. No, when, I, when I'm rude, it's accidental, always. When you're rude, it's on purpose. What a joke. And look, I'm a nice guy. I'm, I'm very empathetic, really. I, I hold my breath and moves when people go underwater and stuff. Mish. Mishima. Mish find a genuine. You're not. Right, yeah, sorry, you're Mish, not Michelle. Mish. Michelle's fine. You hate Michelle. Michelle's fine. Michelle's neutral. You know what I really Oh, hate? sure, you're gonna tell I me. I hate being called a drain on your mental health. <sighs> a 
Oh, that's what we're doing. Turn your stupid isometric head and look at me. Four months. Four months we were a thing, and now you can't stand five minutes. What? What makes me so poisonous to your mental health? I'm sorry. What was that? I'm sorry, Mish. I didn't want an ordeal. Tough. Call your dad. Why? Because he can, he can let himself into your flat, break the door down. He's an idiot. He won't help. It's a bit harsh. He's not an idiot. He called my sister Imogen. He said after the John Lennon song. Imagine. Mm -hmm. Imogen, imagine. Of course, he's an idiot. Okay, yes, yeah, so he's an idiot. But whatever, he can break a door down, probably helps. I'm not calling him. Well, well there's got to be someone. Mish. Missionary position. Georgie, Georgie Ford, you're putting a pie, kiss the girls, make them cry. You've had enough experience with that one, haven't you? I'm sorry. If you're really sorry, how about Chris House? He has his thing. Chris House. Oh, come on, Mish. The last thing I need right now is a visit from the human parsnip. He's got his thing. The Leatherman. What's the Leatherman? What are you stupid? Leatherman. Uh... Oh, are these even legal in the UK? You know, I don't care. Do it. Call him. No. Yeah. I won't. Yes, no, yes, 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 yes. Well, why won't you do it? Do you need a reason? No, not really. Well, can you please do it? Not until Why won't you do it? Because you won't tell me why we broke up. What, really? Yeah. Right, okay, this is just like you. You've moved from emotional blackmail to literal blackmail. You're pathetic. Do you want out or not? Yes, I do, please. Then tell me why. I'll tell you once you call him. Hello? Chris House? Can't be asked, you do it. Hi! Is that Chris House? Uh yeah, no, it's it's Georgie. I'm uh I'm I'm stuck in Mish's flat. Yeah, <laughs> her silly jaws jammed. Oh, so yeah, we're on the third floor, so I can't yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, no, don't forget the Leatherman. <laughs> oh yeah, always have it with you. Yeah, no. Okay, thank you. He'll be here in 10 minutes. That's manageable. Great. Now, what did I do? You didn't do anything. I did something. It's silly, really. This uh, appointment that I've got in 21 minutes. Uh, is an autism assessment with my doctor. You're getting diagnosed? What? Nothing, just unexpected, funny. Of course it is funny, well finally, something high functioning. That's, I mean. Well I really can't afford to miss this or, or, or even be late. You, you know how it is for someone to get diagnosed, for someone female presenting to get diagnosed. It's just, yes, I have. And you know they say it's twice as common in, in men or or twice as diagnosed. Right. And it's not something you would want to be late to. Or but now I will be because I'm stuck in your stupid council house. You say something nice, you say something nasty. I'm autistic. Autistic? You're awful. I am autistic. Not yet. Yes, yet. Yeah, you don't need a diagnosis for that. You're right. You don't need a diagnosis. Oh, I can't even look at you right now. Don't then. I don't want to look at you. You see, Mish, it's a doggy dog world, okay? There's all these facets dog. of life, all these nuances that I just will never understand. And the worst thing is, the worst thing is I won't even understand how much I don't get them because I've got no frame of reference. It's like, it's like a prison sentence, except at least with the prison sentence, there's some sense that at some point you might eventually get out. It's like that feeling, what's the opposite of, of schadenfreude? Like feeling unhappy that other people are happy. I think that's just jealousy. 18 minutes. This is a nightmare. It's a bloody nightmare scenario. I understand. You do? Why are you smiling like that? Is there something wrong with you? Mish! Georgie, since the time you broke up with me, you've said some pretty hurtful things. Pain man. This is... Oh, baby, a bit tired. <laughs> this is horrible. You're horrible. Uh, why wouldn't you understand? I, you don't have an excuse. No, oh, you don't have an excuse. Yes, I do. Please just understand I do. Throw me a bone. Fine. What does diagnosis change? Because it, it's objective. It's objective proof that we're mismatched. <sighs> Your uni would make it better with 
the distance. But I'm odd. You know I'm odd and and you're so cool. <laughs> you're so cool. <laughs> and you're hot. So I'm room temperature? Oh, see, this is my problem, Mish. I can't even get a sentence out. I'm my own worst enemy. What a coincidence. You're my own worst enemy too. Chris out? Hi. Yeah. Okay. You're running? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See you in a minute. Be here in one minute. Which is good because I need the bathroom. You need the loo? Yeah. Like urgently. Like, like one minute warning urgently. That's how you always, um, you can always go in there. I mean, it's more waste. What? You know, like, like chuck it out the window if you felt so inclined. What, like me medieval times? Yeah, like, uh, like chamber pots. Yeah. Oh, there's a man at the window. Chris House, give me that Frank Vincent smile. Georgie, how's Chris House getting inside? With his Leatherman, that's why I was no, like... into the flat. Oh, give us a second. Good point, how is he gonna get in? Oh, my keys. Move, oh. Chris House, I'm gonna drop them to you, okay? Okay. Have you got them? Oh, what? They went down the grill. The, the grill, like a barbecue? The, the grate, they fell through. Uh, what, what do we do now? Give me your keys. What? Why? Your keys to the flat. You're not going to need them anymore. Okay, can you maybe cover the grill with your body? Or, or your bags? Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay, you ready? Got them? Great, okay, see you off in a minute. God for Chris House and his Leatherman. We'll go then. You can make it. If I elect to run, yeah. Well, there you go. You know, Mish, I'm not doing this because I want to. Oh, you're not. No, this, this, <laughs> this is what I've been saying, okay? We all do things we hate, and this is one of them. Oh, and was I another? No, you, no, you weren't. Mish, and I'm the one with a sense of inferiority. You live in a glass house, and I'm not the one throwing stones. I'm not questioning you, Georgie. I was just asking a question. How come you never got yourself diagnosed? It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> That's big of you. I forgive you, Mish. I understand you. It's scary. But why not try? At least try. It's easy for you to say. You can get private tests. You've got money. Private doctor. You're rolling in it. Well, from what I understand, the NHS provides a similar service. I have looked into this. You have hope? Yeah. And even the provisional tests have a year-long waiting list. It's ridiculous. There's gotta be something. Nope, and I'm pretty much certain of it. Where's Chris House? He runs everywhere and then what? Waits for the lift. Oh. Chris, is that you? Oh, hey. Have you got it? Oh, amazing. Oh, hey. Now. Yeah, uh, just for future reference, it is a push, not a pull. Of course. Uh, you can go now. But, but I'm not I'm not finished. We're not finished. But you can go. Why? I, I don't want to. What, what's wrong? Just go. For the sake of my mental health.
Thank you.